Oh my god, don't tell me. Okay, not the time to freak out. Not the time to freak out. There's definitely totally many explanations for why I would wake up with them naked. Yeah, there's there's totally many many explanations. It doesn't have to be that. It, there's, there's, I mean, many, many things could have happened. I don't... Fuck, I don't even remember seeing them yesterday. How fucking much did I drink? <clears throat> uh, hi. You're awake. <laughs> Uh, hmm. Uh, yeah, yeah. Believe me, I am also <laughs> more than surprised to see you here. So yeah, maybe you want to explain why you're in my goddamn bed <laughs> with me. So, neither of us remember what happened last night. Did I get that right? Why on earth would my brother even invite you? That's my first question. He didn't? Then who did? I mean, come on. You have to at least remember why you were at that party to begin with. Yeah, thank God. Otherwise, I would have to be seriously concerned for both of our health, and also drinking habits, and holy fuck. <sighs> the last time that I drank enough to have a blackout was... <laughs> well, when we broke up. That's been a little while. Right, so, do we talk about the obvious here? Uh, about what happened? I mean, we we can't be sure that it happened. And, okay, yeah, no, that's, that's not something we can really, like, uh, talk our way out of, I feel like. It's pretty obvious what happened, right? My only question is, why the fuck would I? And why on earth would you? And, I mean, we're not really, I mean... <laughs> we... <sighs> Last we talked, we were both of the very firm opinion that uh, we just don't work out, and we shouldn't really do anything like this, and we're uh, not actually even, like, really attracted to each other like that anymore, so... Y you know No, I'm pretty sure that that last part was... your words. You said that. Yeah. You know? Oh, need me to jog your memory a little bit? That last day in the hotel room, where you just <laughs> could not stop ranting about how how you couldn't understand 
how you were ever interested in me and that you've snapped out of it and would never ever again find me hot or beautiful or sexy or whatever other words you used to describe me with. Yeah, I know for sure that I didn't just imagine you saying that. But you were hurt. Yeah. Yeah, it sure sounds like it. By what could you have been hurt? What, your fragile ego couldn't handle the thought of me being good at something? Being maybe better than you? Why was your first instinct to put me down after feeling like you're not good enough for me or whatever? You know what, I don't want to talk about all this. This is unnecessary, and even though I have no idea how we end up in this position, I sure as hell know that I don't want it to happen again. So really, we can just drop it, right? What? What's that supposed to mean? Why on earth would you not regret this? I don't think I've ever heard you admit you're wrong about anything, really. I mean, I can't say that I disagree about us being less mature than. And, I mean, I can't claim to be innocent, either. I have said some... <laughs> suboptimal things. Uh, hurtful. Very hurtful things. And it was purely because I wanted to hurt you. After you hurt me. And I'll admit that's not a very... Mature thing to think. Or... A good way to act. <sighs> We've gotten ourselves in... One hell of a mess this time. Alright, you know what? I'm never really good at talking before I've had my first coffee. So, how about you stay for breakfast and we talk about some things? And if either of us start uh, becoming a little rude or or something along those lines, we can just, you know, you can leave at any point, and I can kick you out at any point, and then we forget all this ever happened. Or, you know, we stay civil, we have a calm conversation, and see where that takes us. What do you say? <laughs>